Why are so many younger Americans renting rather than owning? I mean, wouldn't this be the time to jump in? Yeah, we've been concerned about that, I would say, is that the millennials, because, you know, obviously we're all familiar with the cautionary tale of home ownership throughout the housing crisis, but the fact of the matter is it's a, really one of the last legitimate wealth creation opportunities. The leveraged return, if you put down 10% on a house, uh, the trajectory of appreciation lately is you're going to get your money back in ten, in, with inside of a year, and then after that, five ten percent appreciation rates. You know, another, it's it's phenomenal. And the challenge, of course, is that millennials who are in this enigma, they're drawn to the cities, they're drawn to the urban areas for the convenience, the lifestyle, walkable amenities. You know, you can walk to the metro, you can walk to work, um, and things like that. But they're also paying about thirty forty percent more a month in rent that they would if they owned. So, again, they can't seem to get caught up enough to save money, and therefore that's why you see uh, regulators coming in and saying, we've got to think creatively about removing economic barriers mm -hmm. to home ownership like lower down payment tr programs. Well, there are good times to rent and good times to buy, right? I mean, which are we in, or does that depend on where you're looking? Yeah, it certainly seems like, uh, obviously, you know, inventory in the housing market is one of the best barometers for health, whether or not you want to be renting or owning. So if you see in the existing home market lots of inventory, seven, eight months worth, uh -huh. then it's really setting itself up for a fall. Um, and you probably would be compelled, all things else being equal, to rent and ride it out. If you see things like now where you have drastically low inventory and low inventory not just on the new homes and existing homes from a purchase perspective but the inventory levels from a rental perspective are equally low if not lower all these things would would you know market considerations being what they are uh, every market you know the housing market is is lumpy there is no national sure. housing or, or rental markets but it, it makes for a pretty compelling case to get in now when you can lock in rates as low as they are and still from what everyone most of the uh, forecasters uh, anticipate you're going to see 4 or 5% appreciation for the next three to four years, which is uh, pretty impressive to say the least.